Well, more than four months after that wildfire took the lives of 19 hotshots in Yarnell, obviously there are efforts to avoid another tragedy like that one. A new heat shield may actually help. It's been developed, and Javier joins us with a demonstration you have to see. Yeah, good morning to you guys. Who could forget that story? It was tragic indeed. 19 brave firefighters were killed in the Yarnell Hill wildfire. An investigative report found that the complexity of the fire, weather, plus lack of communication played a role in their deaths. But many people pointed to their last line of defense, talking about their fire shield, saying that they did not withstand that fire and save the lives of those 19 brave firefighters. I want to bring in Jim Mosley. He's with Sunseeker Fire Blanket, and he has some new technology that can explain uh, how there's a possibility and hope that firefighters' lives could be saved in the future. And we want to start off with this demonstration and show the difference between this old fire shield and what you want to become the new fire fire shield. Absolutely. And, and taking consideration, you know, a fire shelter, you got to be able to keep it on in, in big winds, you know, so there is, there's nothing guaranteed in life, but this is basically what they were under. The Yarnell fire was so hot, it actually fractured boulders. So it takes about five seconds for a 2,000 degree fire to go through a fire shelter, and then that's and it. And that's what we're looking at with a blowtorch as yeah. far as uh, the intensity of exactly. the Exactly. Show me this new technology here. Well, you know, just just to see so you can see it without something real quick. So this is the fire blanket. And your hand is directly underneath that. Yeah, you can see my hand underneath it right here. What are you feeling right now? It's starting to get warm. But it ain't that. Well, and we'll, we'll give you an example of how, what it'll do. Here, put the penny on. Don't touch that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, burn your hand. Yeah. Right there. And this cloth right here is pretty amazing. It's going to be used on SpaceX and in different things. But... And that's burning the penny. Yeah, the, so, so it's just completely melted, as you can see. And wow. that's the penny right there. And How's your hand? It's fine. And th this is all the fumes that it caught, okay? And if you look through, you know, I mean, just these toxic fumes can kill a firefighter. They say one breath of, of hot gas can, and can kill the firefighter. So we're stopping that. So what we have here is you saw how it burned right through the foiling. Yeah. We have a 3,000 degree spray that we put on it. And you can see how it protects the foil itself. Once that foil is compromised, okay, there is no protection in the current fire shelter. All right? All right, so the gist of this here is this is new technology that you would like to put in an entire phase and eventually seek out these fire shelter blankets. Yes. And you're looking for funding. Yes, looking for funding. The forestry really doesn't have the funding for this added protection. Uh, we're talking a lot of firefighters here, and uh, you know. What's so your website? Sunseekerfireblanket.com. All right. So you want to you want to take this money, you want to put it into a test phase, and eventually uh, the prototype. Yes. And then put it out to to the yes. uh, fire departments across the country. Yeah, we're in communication with the National Forestry and the, and the National Testing Center up in Alberta, Canada. So they love the product. Um, we just need to get the funding to create not only the fire shelter, but uh, my cousin has been working on the Mars project since its inception at JPL, and we want to work on a deployment of this thing that'll deploy it. You know, within a few seconds, not 20 seconds of trying to wrestle it. All right, you know, we're, we're, so. we're going to hold some of that, tease it for later. We'll explain more about this product and, uh, again, how you can help out in its development phase. Although an investigative report found a series of events played into the tragedy, many people pointed to the fire shelter and the lack of protection, the fact that they just didn't work. And as Javier explains, there is new hope this morning. This material you have is amazing, Javi. Yeah, it's pretty cool indeed. And the protection could come in the form of what is being called the Sun Seeker 
fire blanket. Check this out right here, but let me just point out, it's only about six months away from actually becoming a prototype. But check out the video because this is really what tells the story in all this. And what you're seeing in this video is what is now a fire shelter. You see what fire does to that and it really can't handle it. Uh, handle all that heat. It starts to break up. Now this is the current uh, fire shelter and with a blowtorch you see it ripping right through it. Now according to most fire experts the survivability rate is less than 30 percent. That's in the current fire shelter. Now check out the material for the Sunseeker fire blanket. It uses the same foil but the blanket underneath withstands that blowtorch and that's a bare hand underneath holding it. And to demonstrate how hot it's burning, well, it actually melted a penny. But according to Sunseeker folks, wildland firefighters are already asking to take it out in the field for protection. From a hot shot crew's perspective, hey, can you just can you just put this stuff inside ours right now and we'll buy it? You know, I've had guys say that, you know, just just adhere it to our regular fire shelter and we'll take it out tomorrow, okay? And put it on our backs instead of in our packs. Now again, it's not even a prototype, but they're looking to raise money. They're asking for public funding and you can go to their website, sunseekerfireblanket.com. They're hoping to raise enough money so that they can build the prototype and then eventually get it into the hands of the wildland firefighters.